Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode with Binus on Forza Horizon 5, using a Lotus to, well, be a ramp car. In this instance, Land Rover runs a little bit wide and the Exceed finds a way past. It's an unconventional way to pass, but it does work at the end of the day, and that is the most important thing. Uh, small Man is up next on Police Simulator. Now, they have just completed uh, a traffic stop, or however it works, uh, on this particular game, and they're now heading off to do the next mission. As they do, the AI traffic decides to be a little bit silly. Yes, as the police car <laughs> tries to go between the stop vehicle... I mean, the damage that is done from this is incredible. I also don't know quite what the water is that's being fired out of both cars. Everything got very broken in a very minor crash. Uh, the best genius up next on SnowRunner with an unusual one. Yes, we're used to seeing vehicles do all sorts of crazy flips and twists and spins through the air, but no, this one just is stuck completely. I don't quite know where the, the posts have come from that are in the vehicle, but it certainly confused the game and no amount of attempted driving and winching is able to move this vehicle. It's just completely stuck in place. Uh, so yeah, those those posts have, have done a sort of a number on that one. Uh, Nikolai next on the snow runner is towing a little vehicle along behind their truck. When well, you, you know physics is going to have had enough, right? We're on snow runner, and sure enough, vehicle bounces off of a bridge. It's uh, so nearly an amazing catch. I was really hoping the car was going to land perfectly on the roof, but unfortunately, it did not. It bounced off. It was a good effort. I give it a six out of ten. On the, on the catch. A USS Vagrant is up next on the long drive, it, driving along in their crazy contraption as they're heading downhill, go a little bit too fast, get on its side. Now the beams work actually as stabilizers initially. And unfortunately, it was too much speed. It was too much speed in the end. And while the stabilizer is actually a pretty good shout on, on the game that can at times be a bit wobbly and a bit weird on the handling department, uh, it still went for a flip. Good recovery, though. Leave down on its wheels, at least. Uh, we have uh, JSA next on Dakar Desert Racing. Uh, they are racing in the trucks. Really, really cool category of vehicle that can sometimes get into trouble. The AI vehicle up ahead uh, kind of overtook them and bounced around and is a bit slow and got a slight tag and ends up being tipped over by the player vehicle. Not the best outcome, certainly not for the AI car. Uh, however, it's not over, though. No, the player carries a little bit too much speed, clips a rock, and we go for a big, big tumble down a hill on this one. Still going. Still, still going. And we're going to finally come to a rest. Almost, almost. No, we're going to go. Still got some more. Still got some more rolling to do, just, just for good luck. And there goes a the tyre. And uh, that's, yeah. <laughs> it's a bad day. Bad day indeed for the uh, for the Dakar trucks. Uh, we have Douglas up next on 171, and this is showing the dangers of speed bumps. Yes, speed bumps can indeed be very dangerous if hit at too high a speeds. We saw a Dakar truck go for a roll off some rocks. This time, it's well, it was a wheelie off a speed bump, followed by a whole load of rolls for the car, and it skids along on its side. It does land on its... I mean, it's not a very healthy-looking car. It's missing many a doors and smash that yeah speed bumps are dangerous it is so well hitting them at high speed funnily enough is quite dangerous uh but there we go uh demon up next on flat out ultimate carnage now they are racing around minding their own business up ahead some ais have had a crash and they managed to get the vehicle through the gap perfectly i don't think you could manage to do that one better if you tried to be honest somehow no contact well big contact with the next car no contact with the vehicles, uh, you know, having their own problems in uh, in a jump. Uh, Jake is up next on Project Cars 2 with, uh, well, a hover car. Yes, who knew? It's a little little known series they're trying to perfect is with the the hover formula. Uh, it is, I mean, quite, quite impressive. I don't, I don't quite know where the wheels are gone. The game's just decided, I guess, to not load them for whatever reason. I mean, I've seen open-wheel cars have issues on this game. I can't say I've ever seen them just not load up with wheels, but... There you go. Uh, life is what? Uh, next on NASCAR 2003. So this is an AI vehicle that runs too hot into a corner, ends up uh, well, squishing another car up against the wall, and everything is, well, I say a little bit broken. Now, 
the car that the camera's on, I mean, it wasn't the, the biggest crash in the world, but the car that the camera is following wanted to get to the pits because it was broken from the crash. The problem is it's struggling to get down. It tries its luck when there's not quite space and everyone's going to have a really big secondary crash. The red car did many a spins. The three took out a further two cars as it uh, pinged up across the track. Yeah, you got to pick and choose your moment to get into the pit lane. It's always challenging, definitely, when it comes to it comes to oval racing like that. Uh, Lambo is up next on Medal of Honor Airborne with a tank that's forgotten. It's forgotten how to tank. <laughs> it took one shot and now it's stuck on its side in a very peculiar manner. Unfortunately, there are people shooting. Uh, after a while, the managed to deal with people shooting. The tank is still stuck on its side, still having issues. Um, it'd be getting shot elsewhere. The tank, because the barrel can't really, well, it's shot into the floor, I think. The barrel can't really get the right angle. It's so high the player can crawl underneath it, but it's not really advised, because you might find the sort of kill hitbox. Just don't crawl under a tank that's glitching out. It's probably a safe safe idea. And finally, we have Calvin Tola on a set of Corsa. Now, they are doing some kind of street racing on an of Corsa. This is the multiplayer server and there's traffic and whatnot to be dealing with. Now the lead car uh, makes a kind of last minute change of decision where it's going. The vehicle in second doesn't have time to react so can't get the vehicle slowed down and there's a bump. Okay, big enough crash as it is. Problem is more cars end up following it in followed by an SUV that <laughs> climbs over the rails and well just floats off into the distance. It's just slowly gone and vanished. Um, yeah, turns out motorway racing is rather dangerous when things go wrong. They do go wrong spectacularly. But, uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit, you can via a Google form. There'll be a link to it in the description. All the rules and how it works can be found on there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a uh, goodbye.